Okay, so this maths problem is a problem that involves a gardener who has 25 apple trees to plant in his garden. And the gardener decides that he's going to plant the 25 apple trees in a very particular way. And this is how he's going to do it. The gardener's going to stand at the edge of his garden over here on the left hand side. And he's going to measure one metre before planting the first apple tree. The second apple tree he's going to plant will be two metres away from the edge of his garden. The third apple tree will be three metres away from the edge of his garden. The fourth apple tree will be four metres away and so on. And this continues up until he's planted all 25 of his apple trees. So the 25th apple tree will be 25 metres away from the edge of his garden. So 25 apple trees in a straight line, each one metre apart. And when it comes to um, picking the apples off the apple tree, uh, the gardener realises that each apple tree has grown just one apple. So all 25 of these apple trees have one apple on them and he decides that he's going to pick the apples and collect the apples in a very particular way uh, as well and this is how he's going to do it he's going to stand at the edge of his garden again and he's going to put his basket down so let me try and draw uh, some sort of basket it's gonna be a bad drawing okay that'll do so he's gonna put it, put his basket down on the floor and this is what he's going to do. He's going to travel out to the first apple tree. He's going to pick the apple, walk it back and put it in his basket. Then he's going to walk to the second apple tree, pick the apple, walk back to his basket and put it in. Then he's going to walk out to the third apple tree, pick the apple and walk it back to his basket. He's going to go out to the fourth apple tree, pick the apple and walk it back to his basket and this process he's going to repeat over and over and over again until he gets to the last apple tree where he has to walk all the way out to the final apple tree pick the apple and then walk it back to his basket my first question for you today is to work out how far does the gardener travel when collecting all of the apples and there are a number of ways you might go about this. You may want to draw a diagram, I guess a bit like I have, but you may want to draw one that's slightly different. You may want to write down some numbers that will help you. And, and uh, there may be a, uh, a particular way that you write out a lot of numbers. You may want to use algebra, which would be great. But whatever you do, whichever way you choose to answer this question, I'd like you to show your full workings to answer the question, how far does the gardener travel when collecting all of the apples? So if you could pause the video now, work on this problem, and once you think you've got an answer, then you can restart for a, a, a new problem. Okay, now if you're restarting the video, that hopefully means that you've got an answer to this question here. And I'm not going to go through what the answer is, because I'd like you uh, to upload your work onto Google Classroom a little bit later, once the lesson's over. But for now, we're going to get rid of this, because I'm going to give you a, a different scenario. And it's going to be uh, a little bit similar to the one that we've just talked about, but there are going to be some differences. Let's pretend that the gardener now um, goes to these trees a year later. So let's uh, just imagine that all 25 trees have stayed exactly where they are, and he comes back a year later to find out that something very, very peculiar has happened. And what has happened is that the first apple tree has grown one apple. The second apple tree has grown two apples. The third apple tree has grown three apples. The fourth apple tree has grown four apples. And this pattern has continued all the way up to the one that's out here, the final apple tree, which has got 25 apple trees on it. 
So very peculiar, but a pattern that the first has one apple, the second has two, the third has three, and so on and so on for all of the apple trees. Now when it comes to picking all of the apples, he decides that he's going to pick them all in a very uh, particular way again. And this is what he's going to do. He's going to stand at the edge of his garden, put his basket down, just like last time. And he's going to walk out to the first apple tree, pick the apple, walk back to the basket and put it in. Then what he's going to do is walk out to the second apple tree, but he's only going to pick one of the apples. And he takes that apple back to his basket before going back to the second apple tree to pick up the other apple before taking it back to his basket. So I'm going to keep going for a few more examples of this. Once he's done that, the third apple tree is where he goes to next. He picks one of the apples and walks it back to his basket. Then he goes back for the second apple and walks it back to his basket. Then he goes to pick the third and final apple before walking it back to his basket. Hopefully you can see the pattern that, that he's following here. For the fourth apple tree, he's going to go pick one, take it back. Go and pick the second one, then take it back to his basket. Then go and pick the third one and take it back to his basket. Before going back and picking up the fourth and final one and walking it back to his basket. And this process continues, walking back and forth, until he's left with the final apple tree, which he has to go to back and forth to 25 times to pick up all 25 of the apples. I guess the main thing to remember here is that the gardener only has one apple at any one time. He only picks one apple at a time. Okay. Now these are the two questions I would like you to have a go at for this scenario here. So the first question asks how many apples are there all together across all 25 of the trees? And secondly, how far does the gardener travel when collecting all of the apples? And again, you may want to draw diagrams, you may want to write down numbers, and you might want to try solving this using algebra. Any of those is absolutely fine as long as you show your full workings to answer these two questions here. So again, I'd like to pause the video, have a go at these two problems, showing your full workings before restarting the video for your final problem of this lesson. Okay, now if you're restarting the video, that hopefully means that you've got answers for both of these problems here, which is great if that's the case. Uh, I've just got one more problem for you to work on today. So I'm going to get rid of these questions. And this is the final scenario, and it's using the exact same setup as the previous one. So we have our 25 apple trees in a straight line, all are one metre apart. The first is one metre away from the edge of the garden. The second is two metres away. The third is three metres away and so on. And also these numbers in circles here are still the case. So there's still one apple on the first apple tree, two apples on the second apple tree, three apples on the third, four apples on the fourth and so on. So there are 25 apples on the 25th tree. But this time the gardener decides that he's not going to collect up all of the apples from every single tree. What's going to happen instead is he's decided that he's going to stop after picking all of the apples on a particular tree. But he doesn't tell us what tree he's going to go up to. So we don't know what tree he's going to stop at yet. Let's say it's somewhere in between the fourth tree and the 25th tree. So somewhere in here. Now in maths, if we don't know a number, if we don't know a number of something, we might, well, we, we usually use algebra. So I'm going to call this the nth tree. I'm going to call it the nth tree. So all this means is that there is a tree somewhere along here in the garden where he is going to stop after collecting all of the apples on it. 
And I should have mentioned that he picks the apples in the exact same way as last time. So he walks out to the first one, picks the apple, takes it back, then does two trips to the second tree. He does three trips to the third tree, so picking up one apple at a time and so on. So that's exactly the same as the last, uh, last scenario. But this time, after he gets to a particular tree, he's going to stop and not carry on for all 25. And the two questions I've got for you on this little scenario. Well, firstly, I think a nice straightforward one, which is how far away from the edge of the garden is the nth tree? How far away from the edge of the garden is the nth tree? And the second one is if the gardener stops collecting the apples after he's collected all of the apples on the nth tree, then how far has he travelled? So you're not going to be able to give an exact numerical answer for this. Your answer is going to have some ends in it, maybe. I've got some tips on what might help here. Some workings that may help you is let's just choose some numbers that n could be. So for example, if n was 1 and he stops after the first tree, then how far has he travelled? Or n could be 5, he could stop after the fifth tree. And if that was the case, how far has he travelled? Or if n was 10, so if n was the tenth tree, how far has he travelled then? I think starting off with some numerical um uh, or letting n be a certain number and working out how far he travels might be a good place to start for this problem. So I leave this here. Your two questions. How far away from the edge of the garden is the nth tree? And mainly, if the gardener stops collecting apples after he's collected all of the apples on the nth tree, then how far has he travelled altogether? So for your final time now, I'd like you to pause the video, showing all of your workings, have a go at answering these two questions. And once you've finished that, then I'd like you to upload all of your work from this lesson onto Google Classroom so I can have a look at what you've done. So pause the video now. And then you can end once you think you've got these two answers.